Welcome back. I'm glad you're here for part eight. Now, last time I had a fight with a guy who was driving a Mitsubishi Eclipse, and this time I had a couple more fights. So, uh, take a look. Circuits. Um, let's start with that sprint and work our way down. Whoops. Look how low rise that texture is. Uh, I'm talking about the fence. But anyway, we shall live because we love this game. I love this game. Roof scoops. I can think of nothing I want more right now than a roof scoop. Yeah, as much as I take the piss out of this game, I love it to bits. Another 300. It's only 5k, which should only take me a minute or two. Alright, there's at least one Corolla. Uh, 240SX. There's something to my left. Hyundai, is it? I'll see now in a second. Or not, because he's just taking off into the distance. Is it a Mustang? I was thinking after this series, oh, that's it, you two just keep battling it out. It's a Mustang. No, it's a Hyundai. I was right the first time. I was thinking after this series, I might play the, not Payback, but the newest Need for Speed before that. Um, I think it's just called Need for Speed. It's on Origin. Um, it's similar to this game, but not the same. Um... There's cops in it, though, too. I really, really liked Most Wanted as well. And Carbon. Carbon was fun. Carbon gave me a love of Gary Newman and the Two Boy Army. Friends, our friends electric. Our electric, our electric friends? Our friends electric. That's what it is. Might stick eight seconds of it underneath that just to, uh, context. Okay, this road goes in two directions and I don't know where to go. Okay, I'm going to the right and coming back on my left. That makes sense. Oh no, I'm not. I thought it was a loop. Jesus. I do like how this thing just dives around corners though. So. Whoops. Maybe a bit much that time. Thankfully I have a, a nice little lead built up. will start to disappear now as I fly into the corners and it'll reappear when they enter the corners I love watching that stuff I'm a big F1 fan so you'll see the cars spread out in a straight they'll bunch up in a corner and then the first one out of the straight's out like a rocket and then they'll kind of accordion back and then in for the corners and out for the straights ah oh. Some of the moves those guys make in the corners. I'm remembering uh, Prime Alonso. Prime Button, the year he won the championship. Oh, oh hello. 94%. I need to overtake him. I need to overtake him. What was that I was saying about being reckless? God damn it! Right, we'll try again. That bloody Nissan is back. Now you'll notice the cars are totally different because I accidentally exited the race instead of restarting. Oops. Sorry about your ring mirror. Get out of the way! So yeah, I have two more um, video ideas and 
kind of have the time now where I could possibly start doing four videos a week instead of two. Or five videos a week instead of two. Maybe two in this, two in Burnout or something, and two in Red Alert, or even Battlegrounds, Ultimate Chicken Horse. Although Ultimate Chicken Horse is hard to do a series in, you kind of just play it for an hour and then get burned out. Fun game though. Even if it is unbelievably frustrating. Doesn't require much cutting either, thankfully. This game takes quite a bit because the um, loading screens are heinous. They really are awful. Now I need to watch my lead as I come out of this second loop and take that hard left that you can see on the minimap. I need to stop hitting walls here too, that would probably help. Because if I remember rightly I crashed into that wall. I've already hit a wall. Gotta love those gear changes. There's a body shop in there, I think. Ugh. God, that's just cost me two seconds. Three seconds. F nearly four seconds. Ouch. If I lose this, I only have myself to blame. And I really need to sneeze too, which isn't helping at all. Oh my god, five seconds it's cost me. Okay, now I'm starting to build the lead again. Whew. Right, that was squeaky bomb time, but made it in the end. Okay, let's go. Let's find out where we're going first. Okay, I'm gonna do these three first. There's some good money for these races too. I don't know why I even bothered with the GPS there. There it is. Nine hundred dollars. Salika there, nice car. I'm going to have a real selection dilemma later on. There's an Eclipse and two Salikas. I feel like I'm at a bit of a disadvantage here. Which is fine because my driving skills are up there. And this thing is a nice venomous little thing. If you put it into corners properly, which I don't seem to do very often. Look at them all turn left before they turn around. Uh, here I am, complaining about corners and I'm just crashing into every wall. Up one of two, that's fine. And those three are still together, so hopefully one of them will screw the other two over. There we go, there we go. Yep, there we go. Eclipse is in front. Get out of the way! That's his fault. I had my line planned and he just drove right across the front of me. Yeah, I like that sleek a lot. It sounds fantastic when you put the proper engine mods on it. But dude, get out of the way! Whoa! Okay. That's that. Somehow I held on to third for quite a while there. Oh. I could still finish second despite that horrible crash. Now if I could spin my camera left and right.
I'm catching this guy. I do need to stop painting the walls blue, but... I was going to say I'm not going to catch him anytime soon, but there we go. Yeah, Eclipse. My car doesn't have a turbo yet, I don't think. No clear miss, come on. I'd love to catch up a tiny bit to them and catch a couple of hundred um, draft points for NOS. Although my car is definitely faster on corners. And again, this orange guy loves to get in the way. I was going to take that corner tight and he just decided not to park my car in your way. And the other Salika is right behind me. Oh. I can see why this race is worth 900 quid. And you wonder why I don't play the game on hard. Because it's an old game and it is hard. Although... I feel like I'm doing okay here. Even if I am oh, at a disadvantage where cars come into mind. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. One second off second. 1.7 seconds off second. Come on, hit a car, hit traffic. Crash into a wall. Not me. One of them did anyway. The Eclipse. Had to hit that wall to avoid the car. Whoa! I'm not gonna get first. I'm not gonna get second either. Damn it! Right, I accidentally hit Explore One again. This is the first option that comes up. And now I feel like I'm amongst more realistic company where cars come to mind. There is a Corsa, 240SX and a Celica. Right, this time I am not going to smash into traffic 5 million times. And I'm not going to hit corner walls 5 million times either. I am going to crash into my opponent as many times as I can now. That's fine. I knew that was going to happen. I had to lay off the throttle there for a sec. Stop it. That's the wrong button. This is an interesting little course, actually. For that reason. Get out of the way! Feck. Tried to thread the needle between the car and the wall, but nah. And somehow I'm still in third. Take this corner flat out. Zoom. Zoom. And zoom. <gasps> 
That's okay. That's okay. As long as they keep doing it too. I need to stop looking at the other cars when I'm about to take the corner. Because it's just... Oh, hello. What was I saying? I need to stop looking at the other cars when I'm about to take the corner, because it just puts me off. Remember what I said a couple of episodes ago about always ditching it into a wall instead of a car? Because the physics of car crashes in this game are wacko. Yeah, the wall physics seem to be like, oh, you'll hit the wall and then you'll bounce off. Whereas the car physics is like, cars go up for some reason, then I have to spin. If I crash into a traffic car at 140k, like I did earlier, I'm gonna rise for some reason. The car just takes off. Maybe it's for cinematic purposes, but. No near miss there, come on. Yo. Whoops. Okay, I have company again. One and a half seconds back. As long as I keep nailing these corners, I should be okay. Yeah, the lack of being able to turn the camera is a killer. Or even just look around the corner. Especially for the big hairpins like this one that's going up. I, I didn't see that taxi. Last second. Okay. I don't know if I can take that shortcut in there, actually. Feck off you. And you see, I had to look at him that time. So I thought he was going to screw up that corner on it. Oh, look at this. Look at this free loss. Oh, that was the 240SX for a second. Ah, f Oh, never mind. Oh, he takes the lead! And he wins! I'd love to see a replay of that. And he came last. That sucks. Not for me.